There have been four weeks of pro-Palestine protests. Stop bombing Gaza! Lots of chants and flags, but very little disorder. The odd flash of violence was quickly dealt with. One thing the Prime Minister and the Met Commissioner do agree on is the potential for serious disorder at a march on Saturday, Armistice Day. The Commissioner insists the threat, so far, isn't huge and his officers can cope. The remembrance events will not be disturbed. Whatever protests and other events go on, we will do our utmost to protect those because they are so critical. If over the next few days the intelligence evolves further, and we get to such a high threshold, and it's only been done once in a decade, where we need to say to the Home Secretary, we think it's got to the stage, we need to ban the march element, then of course we will do. The Prime Minister doesn't want the protest to go ahead and made his thoughts clear. This is a decision that the Metropolitan Police Commissioner has made. Now, my job is to hold him accountable for that, and we've asked the police for information on how they will ensure that this happens. You know, my view is that these marches are uh, disrespectful, and uh, that's what I'll be discussing with the police commissioner later today. At lunchtime, the Home Secretary went to Downing Street. The Prime Minister had ordered the Commissioner there to explain his decision not to challenge the protest. Later, the PM said he got assurances the march would not clash with remembrance events, but a risk remained. The two men are clearly at loggerheads over the protest. The Prime Minister wants the Commissioner to ask the Home Secretary for a ban. The Commissioner insists that would be a rare move, and any ban would apply only to a march, not to a static demonstration. At 11am on Armistice Day, a two-minute silence will be observed at the Cenotaph in Whitehall. A mile away at Hyde Park at midday, the Palestine Solidarity Campaign March is due to begin. Protesters will head past Victoria Station across the river and end up at the US Embassy at around four o'clock. One of the organisers of Saturday's march insisted that armistice ceremonies would be respected. We knew we would be marching each Saturday if a ceasefire wasn't called. And some weeks ago, we said to the Met Police that on November the 11th, we would not want to be going anywhere near Whitehall or the Senator. At the heart of the standoff between the PM and the Commissioner is the operational independence of policing, which should be free of any political direction or influence but no police chief wants to admit they might not be able to control their streets and keep people safe. Martin Brunt, Sky News.